Hey readers, welcome back. I sure hope you had a fantastic weekend. I had a nice weekend. Hopefully you got some sun, exercise, and lots of fun. Well, we're back again, and today we want to start off remembering what was going on last week in our reading. Well, we were starting to talk about the lessons or morals that some of the characters learn as they go along through the story. Sometimes they learn those lessons through problems. So yes, some of our characters did have problems that they faced in the story. And we took a look at how they resolved or fixed those problems or conflicts that they had. Then we started talking about how some stories were actually similar. Some were had differences. And we want today to kind of move along and reflect back at the same time. So we're not reading a story today, and we're not having a regular lesson. This time, you are doing the work. So what are we doing? We are going to make a list today. We're going to think back about the lessons that we've learned through the adventures of our characters, as they've solved problems, as they've had conflicts in their stories. Now, why on earth do we want to do that? Well, let's remember something. Do you remember Mrs. Dorsey told you that... When authors write a story, often they write with a particular theme or idea in mind. Sometimes they write because of a certain feeling they have, and they want their readers to experience those same feelings. So often, readers, uh, writers rather, write stories just for our enjoyment. That means they want us to laugh when they laugh. They want us to see something as, as cute, or they want us to go on a grand adventure and learn about a new place we've never been. Sometimes they want us to feel the sadness that another character is feeling. And sometimes they really want us to just grow as people. That's right. They have their characters go through certain problems that they think regular people might face as well, and especially children sometimes. And from those experiences, they want us to grow and learn some life lessons. So today, I am going to make a list of my own from the stories that I've been sharing with you over these past few days, um, and just take a look at some of the lessons that we've learned from those stories. Then it's going to be your turn to do the very same thing with the stories you have been reading at home. So let's just take a look at some of the lessons we've learned so far. So, learning lessons from stories. Make sense? So I was thinking about the story of the lion and the mouse. Do you remember what kind of story I said that is? Hmm. It's a story where the characters are usually animals. It's also a short story, and its main purpose is to teach a lesson or a moral. If you remember it, it's a fable. That's right, a fable. So we read a fable, and our fable that we read was the lion and the mouse. Do you remember how the mouse was scurrying on the lion, and the, the lion awoke and caught the mouse, and was going to devour or eat the little mouse? And the little mouse pleaded for its life and said, Oh no, please don't eat me. One day I will be able to help you too, I promise. <laughs> and the lion let him go thinking, how silly is that? That a little teeny mouse could help the king of the beasts. A lion. Well, in the story we found out that later the lion was caught in a trap. And when that happened, the hunters were upon him. They were coming to get him. But what happened? That same little mouse that he chose not to devour and also laughed at, that little mouse was now his hero. That little mouse chewed or gnawed at the ropes until they broke loose and then the lion could escape. So we learned that even small ones, even little ones, are important. Everyone is important. And everyone, even though you're small, can do big things. So let's kind of write that down as a lesson that we've learned from the story. We can say it a few ways. We can say, hmm, even, hmm. little people, sorry about my writing, writing a little sideways here, <laughs> even little people, 
and that can be you. It can be a little brother or sister. It can even mean little in terms of size. Maybe it's a short person, a tiny person, okay? Like Miss Dorsey. When I go to the grocery store, I can't reach all the top shelves. So my husband goes with me because he's very tall and he can reach them. Even little people can do. Big. Even little people can do big things. Or we could say it another way. Even little people are important, right? Even little people can do big things. Even little people are important. Or simply, all people are important. What other lessons did we learn? Well, it was not a fable, but it was a story where there was a clear problem. Do you remember um, the two girls who were making the cold um, drink stand and no one would buy them after they made this fabulous stand and the drinks were nice were, were right there and cold and refreshing they had a nice sign on the tree but no one was buying their drinks they decided to solve their problem by doing what do you remember two things they did one they colored or tinted the drinks pink and then they lowered the price from a dime to a nickel. So what lesson were we learning? Well, I think the learning, the lesson we learned was perseverance. And another way to say perseverance is don't give up, keep trying. So I think that's another great life lesson, okay? Don't. Ooh, sorry about the handwriting. <laughs> don't give. And I'm going to put an exclamation point by that one. Don't give up. Keep trying. Okay? Don't give up. Keep trying. Let's do one more. So let's see. Some other stories that we read. So we also read a, a story. And I'm giving you a variety so you can see they're not all fables. They're not all um, fairy tales or anything like that. There are lots of different genres from which we can pull our stories. But do you remember we read a story about Bill's Badger? And in that story, a little boy had uh, come across a family of badgers, and Dad told him to stay away because badgers are mean, they're wild, and they cannot be tamed. Well, what kind of lesson can we take away from that story? One is to be safe, of course, and to practice safety and not go near the wild animals. Of course, yeah, we know that. <laughs> um, what else could we learn from that story? I'm thinking of something a little more important. How about respect nature? Now that's an interesting lesson for me to pull from that story. But Bill, he could watch the badgers from the bridge. He watched as they got older and they learned how they would leave their mom, even, as, uh, even though they were still very small. And I think that just by respecting them, Leaving them alone, letting them live, not bothering them or trying to trap them or any of those things. I think he was showing an excellent respect for nature. So I said that one so that you can see that sometimes our lessons are very clear in our stories. Other times they're not so clear. And we have to look for deeper meanings as we go through our stories. And I think that you can. So like even little people can do big things. I think you, that everyone figured that one out. And don't give up. The girls could have just said, oh, we just won't sell the drinks. But they decided to keep trying, perseverance, not give up. But then there are other deeper lessons as well, like respect nature. And we know that in our classroom, at least, we have a rule that says respect who? Everyone. Well, we don't think of animals as a who, as, as a who, but a what. But we still respect everyone. And maybe we should say all living things. But I think we're going to respect nature. That's a good one. Respect. Nature.
while we were out for school, do you know that we had Earth Day? And Earth Day has a lot to do with respecting nature and taking care of the earth on which we live. So we want to learn lessons from our stories. Some are very clear, some are very small. Others are very deep, very important. But authors really want us to take something away from our reading. So today you're going to go back and look at some of the texts that you have read over the past couple of weeks maybe or since we've been talking about this character study. Or you could even think about some of the other stories that we read together. And I stop and I want you to make an actual list. Yes, take out a piece of paper and a pencil and write down some lessons that you've learned. Now, if you like, you can write more about one of those as a writing extension. So you could choose one of these lessons and make up your own story about it as you're doing with Mrs. Cooper. So you could turn one of these lessons into a story and make your characters learn something about not giving up. Let your characters learn something about respecting nature or knowing that even little people can do big things. List your lessons and then see if you can do a writing extension to see what lesson you learned from that story and how you could build on it. Just give it a try, right? We'll be back tomorrow with another reading lesson. Enjoy your reading and enjoy your writing. See you then.